Fundamental Analysis Part 6, Analysis of Profit and Loss Statement Profit and Loss Statement or the Income Statement is one of the financial statements of the company which shows all the revenues and expenses of the company in a particular period. All Profit and Loss Statements usually have three parts. One which shows all the revenues of the company, and the second shows all the expenses of the company and the third shows appropriations. Now let's begin with analyzing the profit and loss statement of Hindustan Zinc. The following statement is extracted from moneycontrol.com. In this profit and loss statement of Hindustan Zinc, as one can see, the first section of income statement is the sales turnover. As an investor, you always want your company to post good sales growth. Good sales growth is one of the factors which will help the company to report good profits. Next important part is net sales. Sales turnover and net sales are almost one and the same, but under net sales, the company will be subtracting the goods returned by the customers from the sales turnover. The second important section under incomes is other incomes. Other incomes is the sum of all the incomes earned from various sources other than the income earned by the sale of goods. Few examples for other incomes are, interest on bank deposits, return on investments, etc. And finally we have total income. Total income equals net sales plus other incomes plus the stock adjustments. Next, one has to analyze what are the various expenses of the company. The expenses for the companies are quite straightforward and simple. First is expenses incurred by the company for the purchase of raw materials. Then there are expenses such as power and fuel, salaries to employees, other expenses incurred during manufacturing of goods, then sales expenses, since this is a mining company, it may not have huge sales expenses, but for consumer durable and non-durable companies the sales expenses are generally high. And then there will be miscellaneous expenses incurred by the company. Then we have total expenses obtained by adding up all the expenses incurred by the company during the time of manufacturing and the sale of goods and services. Next comes the major part of income statements, which is appropriations. First we have operating profits. Operating profits are obtained by subtracting all the operating expenses from net sales. Next is profit before depreciation interest and tax also known as PBDIT. This is obtained by subtracting the total expenses by the total income which includes net sales as well as other incomes. By subtracting depreciation from PBDIT we obtain PBIT or EBIT meaning profit before interest and tax or earnings before interest and tax. Next, by subtracting interest on loan we get PBT or EBT, which means profit before tax or earnings before tax. The change in the PBIT after subtracting the interest, gives us a rough idea on the total debt of the company. By subtracting income tax from PBT we get net profit. After preference dividend is paid out of the profit after tax we are left with earnings available to equity shareholders. When we divide the earnings available to the equity shareholders by number of outstanding equity shares we get earnings per share or the EPS which is the most important item one should watch out for. Now let us see what to watch out for in a company's income statement. First, as a shareholder of the company you will always want the company to report good sales. Increase in sales is also a factor which will increase the company's profit. As a shareholder you want the net profit of the company to increase by its sales but not by other incomes. Therefore increase in sales is equally important as increase in profits. Next. The most important item that the investor must watch out for in a company's income statement is earnings per share. The average growth in earnings per share tells one about the average growth of company's profit every year. The higher growth in EPS is what one wants as a shareholder. Here in this income statement of Hindustan Zinc, the net sales have increased every year. This will also give an opportunity for the company to post good profits. And next is the EPS. The EPS of Hindustan Zinc has increased from 11.6 to 19.35 with an average growth rate of 10.9% every year. This just means that the profit of the company has managed to grow 10.9% every year, which also means that your stock has the capacity to grow over 10.9% every year. Any growth of profits above 10% is considered to be fair. 
Therefore the two key items to watch out in an income statement is sales growth as well as growth in EPS. Here we come to the end of this tutorial on analysis of income statement, please like and subscribe, thank you.